This clip demonstrates how to use text controls. Before starting, go to the menu item File, select Project Settings, go to the tab Extended Settings and define a background color which will be used for every page in this project. Click OK to finish. Now select Root menu in the tree view, click the right mouse button and go to Add item. Select menu item 1, click the right mouse button and go to Add page. In order to define this page as a starting page for this project, select page 1, click right mouse button and go to Set as default. Now we are going to create four different text controls with different functionality. Select page 1, click right mouse button and go to Add text. Select the tab General and name the text control. For example, Headline. Switch to the Common Properties tab and enter the text for your headline. Select a bigger font size and position the headline on the display. Once again, select page 1 in the tree view, click right mouse button and go to Add Text. Select the tab General and name the text control, for example Display. Switch to the Common Properties tab and enter a static text, but do not delete the placeholder. Select a bigger font size and move the text control to the right position. Go back to the tree view, click the right mouse button and add a data point. You can now define a network variable which will be mapped to the text control. For this example, we will use a register. Just click the button New and enter a name for the register. Click Create Register. Select the read value which will be used for the text control. Click OK to proceed. A new mapping table has been created for the text control. Select the mapping table and add a new entry which will be displayed when the value is zero. Add another entry which will be displayed when the value is 1. You can define a different color for this entry by clicking the color box. Depending on the input value, the text control will be switching between on and off. Once again, select page 1 in the tree view, click right mouse button and go to Add Text. Select the General tab and name the text control. For example, drop down. Go to the Common Properties tab and select a bigger font size. Select the text control in the tree view, click right mouse button and add data points. Select the output data point to send values and do a multi-select and select the read data point to receive a feedback. Click OK to proceed. A new mapping table has been created. Just select the mapping table and add some entries for different values. Zero should be mapped to mode 1 and 1 should be mapped to mode 2. Move the text control to the right position. 
Go back to the tree view and select page 1. Click right mouse button and go to Add Text. Select the General tab and name the text control. This one will be used as a push button. Switch to the Common Properties tab, align the placeholder centered and use a bigger font size. Now switch to the Color tab and select a background color for the push button. Now move to the tab Text Bitmap Drawing and enable push button mode. Use Select and Send Next value and select Change Direction when last value is reached. Move the cursor to the text control in the tree view, click the right mouse button and add data points. Add the right data point to send values and multi-select the read data point to get a feedback. Click OK to proceed. A new mapping table has been created. Just select the mapping table and define new entries for mapping text and values. Value 0 can be mapped to heating. Once again click the new entry button and value 1 can be mapped to automatic. Finally, move the push button to the right position. After all, you should download the project to the device and test the functionality of the different text controls.